G'day guys, Will Kitchen here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So, we're not out on the water today. We're actually in the kitchen tonight. You would have seen in my recent video, we uh, went out and we caught some mackerel, some spotted mackerel. So we're gonna cook that up for you tonight. Oh, they're beautiful fish, hey? Fight hard, good fun. I promise you I'd do a special little recipe. It's really tasty and really healthy. It's a Thai recipe. It includes coconut, ginger, chili. Um, it's beautiful. The fish tastes beautiful. And yeah, it's, there's no grease like when you cook it in oil. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. So what I'll do is I'll show you all the ingredients and as I'm going, I'll put it up on the screen, um, all the measurements and everything. So you know how much of each you need. And then I'll also pause the video for a little bit so you guys can get a piece of paper and a pen and write down what you need. First up, number one, we have jasmine rice. Some coconut cream, fish sauce, finely grated lemon rind. We have in here lemon juice, chopped long red chilies. Now this is a nice important one. Um, some chili seeds, the seeds from the chilies. Grated ginger, and some fresh chopped coriander. Now, of course, the main thing is you actually need your fish. We're doing mackerel tonight, but you can do this with other fish as well, I'm sure. But yeah, it's good for mackerels. When you have a lot of meat, you want to mix it up. So sometimes we do beer batter, sometimes we'll cook it on the barbecue, but this is another recipe we like to do to mix it up, and it's a really nice fresh one for summer. So yeah, you need your fish as well. All right, this is where I'll pause the video quickly so you can write down um, all those ingredients. Alright, now you've got those, we've got all these ready, we're going to get into cooking it. Alrighty guys, so we just got the rice starting to cook in the background, so that's going to cook as we're doing this. Now it's time, it's pretty simple uh, what we have to do, but it's time to incorporate all the ingredients in. So we'll start with the coconut cream, just all of that in, straight in. Next up, two tablespoons of fish sauce, so we'll put that in now. All right, we've already measured this out. This is the uh, grated lemon rind. So we've already measured this out as one tablespoon in here. So I'll just put that straight in. Next up, the lemon juice, straight in as well. Finely diced chilies. The grated ginger, so I'll need a spoon for this one that in. As I said, we've already measured these out with those measurements I gave you. Put them into bowls and containers so you can just whack them straight in. Alright, you're going to leave out your fresh coriander and your fish, but the last thing we're going to put in is a couple of chilli seeds. Now, this is where the heat comes from in the chilies, so these are the hot things. So you don't want to put too many in, it really surprises you. Um, you just want to put a few. So. I think. It's just about your own preference on taste and spice that determines how many you put in, but that's enough for us. It'll be pretty spicy still. So what we're going to do, we've got the wooden spoon, we're going to give that all a big stirring. Just going to mix those all together. And we're going to bring it to the boil. So once it's boiling, I'll get back to you. Alright, well that's already starting to boil, so what we're going to do is take the lid off and um, reduce the heat straight away and just let it simmer. So now we're just going to let that simmer for 10 minutes. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Now this has been simmering for 10 minutes now and it's time to add the fish and let it simmer for another 10 minutes or until your fish is cooked through. So that's what we're going to do now. So we've got our mackerel out. All we're going to do is just put that straight in. So cooking the fish in the sauce like this 
really infuses those flavours of the chilli and coconut into the fish. It makes it absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Now we're going to put the lid on that and halfway through, about five minutes, we're going to flip them all and turn them. Um, but yeah, we're just going to let this simmer now for 10 minutes or, as I said, until it's cooked through. Alright. Put that lid on. We'll um, time 10 minutes or five minutes until we flip them. Alright guys, that's been about five or six minutes, so now we're just going to flip them straight over. You can see they're starting to um, go white. Alright, so they're all flipped. I'll get the um, lid back on. Go for another five or six minutes. Then they'll be ready to eat. Okay, so there we go. We're going to test it now just to make sure it's cooked with a fork. I'm just going to have a look in there. Yep, it's coming apart easy and it's nice and white all the way through. So that's cooked. What we're going to do now is unplug it from the power. Unplug it, and finally, to finish it off, you want to get your uh, fresh coriander. You just want to sprinkle it all around in the sauce on the fish, just to garnish it, as they call it. That is ready to serve. Come have a look at that, guys. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty fresh and yummy. So we'll um, get some rice on our plates. Get the fish on and pour some of the sauce over the top and, and give you a look. Get a bit of sauce. How nice does that look? The sauce is the nicest bit when you drizzle that over the top and then mix it in with the rice. How about that guys? Beautiful. So I like to break it up a little bit, mix it around with the rice, that way the sauce, rice and fish is all together, you get that nice sauce going through the rice as well. Now having this in the past I already know what it tastes like and it's just so beautiful when the flavours of the chilli, coconut and ginger are all the way through the fish. So. Yeah, the other thing is it keeps it really juicy and it's really nice and healthy just on that bed of jasmine rice rather than having fish and chips all the time. And I guess you could even put like an Asian salad or Caesar salad or something on the side as well if you wanted. Anyway, I haven't had it for a while so I'll have a try. That's a good one. That's good. That's super fresh. Um, keeps the fish really moist. It's really, really good. I I have nothing bad to say about this one. We really enjoy it, that's why we do it. So get out there and make it yourself. Catch some mackerel or, or fish and yeah, try something new. It's really, really nice and really fresh. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you want to see me do any other recipes or anything like that or any other videos or tell me what you thought and share the video if you think someone else would like it. All right. I'll see you in the next video. We'll probably be back out on the boat next time rather than in the kitchen. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this and we're all gonna dig in and finish dinner.